All right, so I'm going to go through the process of just creating the wireframe and how that translates into code. This is kind of the idea, too, where you can even start with a mood board, and then that becomes your project eventually. So first, I'm just going to open up Photoshop. So when I open up Photoshop and I go to New Document for the first time, so File, New, I get this New Document window, and I go straight to Web. So initially, I'm going to think about the wireframe for a standard web page. And this is showing you right here, most common size. So I will start with that. Now in Photoshop, you'll see the width and pixels, orientation. There's a couple things that you can look at in the preset section. Um, one thing is artboards. So this is kind of optional in the beginning. By default, Photoshop is turning it on. This is something new. I think 2020, they started to turn this on by default. You may not want to have this turned on, so what you can do is uh, click this off. And everything else here, just want to make sure that your resolution is set to 72 and your color mode is RGB. It's something you should always think about as you're designing. So here is where I'm going to start for my initial wireboard. All right, so in Photoshop, I'm going to be working uh, initially just with the pencil tool. So here with your brushes, underneath the brush tool is a pencil tool. Now, if you don't see that tool, sometimes you have to go into your toolbar, edit toolbar, and do a restore defaults if you don't see it. But the pencil tool is right here underneath the brush tool. And for my initial wireframe, I just like to draw it. Now, this is something that I like to do. In your layers palette in Photoshop, I will create a new layer. So you click on the little box with a plus sign. And then I just want to start off with black, hit OK and maybe make your point size a little bit bigger, like four. And then here I can just kind of figure out what I want to do. So this is kind of my, like my napkin sketch. So maybe I have a banner going across. Maybe this is some sort of um, informational content. Maybe inside my banner I have a nav bar. So I don't care if this is not perfect at this point. Then I have maybe in this area the main content, and then down below is my footer. So this is like my first sketch. After I have this laid out and I like it, what I'll do is a couple things. So I will maybe start to add some guides. So I can go into Photoshop now, go under Window, I'm sorry, under View, and go to Rulers. And you click on Rulers, it's Control R. And now I can start to drag out some guides the measurement units, if I right click on a, the measurement units, I can see they're in pixels. So it's good to just keep them in pixels. That's what the setting was when I created the new document. And now I'm going to start to add out some guides to like figure out where everything is at. So maybe I want to have margins of 50 pixels on the left and right. And you'll see as you drag these guides out that they're going to actually kind of click to the pixels sometimes. So that's like a snapping feature, like right here, these pixels for the banner that I drew on top, it's kind of clicking right there. So it's sometimes helpful just to turn off snapping. So you can go into view and then just turn it off. And now when I drag, drag this out, it's not going to snap. So let's say I just want uh, 50 pixels for my margins. I'm not going to worry about the bottom margin because the web page is going to extend anyway. So that's something that we don't need to think about unless you want to fix um, size web page. And here, 1366, I'm just going to make this 1316. And then what I can do now is um, maybe add some additional guides for the other parts of this wireframe that I'm starting to create. 